Hi guys, and as I mentioned, Jumper, today I'll be reviewing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which was released in 2018, made by Nintendo for the Nintendo Switch. Now, if you've played a Smash Bros. game, you know that this game is the biggest game in the series. So, for a bit of context, when the original Smash Bros. game came out for the Nintendo 64, people lost their mind during the game because it was a game that brought in a ton of N N Nintendo characters into one game. So you've got characters like Mario, Link, uh, Yoshi, Pikachu, Donkey Kong, uh, Zero Zero Zemus, those sort of well-known characters that people have seen in a ton of games. And it's basically just a game where people fight on, on different stages. And it revolutionised the, ga the fighting uh, games. So, in this game, uh, uh, like in other previous games, you can choose any of the characters from previous games and of the series, and some new characters have been added into the game. And you can choose either from a timed battle, a stock battle, or stamina battle. Uh, those are like some of the main features in this game, and some new features that have been added in the game are el elimination battles uh, and 300% battles and tournament battles uh, which were, have a sort of new flair to the game. So the 300% HP battles are where you have characters and they're basically at 300% and you have to try and like you know be the last one to... it's basically like stamina battles and stuff but with with much more damage. Uh, the, the tournaments are basically uh, just that, a tournament where you have like a ton of characters and you can have different sections like you could have like two people against two people, 4v4 uh, and, all, and try and get to the end and there's also uh, oh, what was it? It's like one where you have to. Oh, yes, yeah, score strike. Yes, yeah, score strike where you have to can either have. Choose three characters or five characters in, in, your squad, in your squad and you can battle against a friend. So, as I said before, you've, you've got some characters that are well known like Link, Mario, uh, Samus, Kirby, Luigi, uh, a bunch of those characters. And then. You've got other characters like Pit, Dark Pit, uh, Bayonetta, Sonic, those kind of characters. And you've got really random characters like a Piranha Plant. Yeah. I said this before in a, a previous video a few weeks ago um, that you can play as a Piranha Plant in the game. And I think that's pretty amazing. Only Nintendo can do that sort of thing in this game. Now, this does also have a story mode, which is called World of Light, and it's where these two, where this two entities, uh, Galim and this other guy, I don't know how to pronounce his name, Darkagon? Darkagon? I, I, I don't know how to pronounce his name, it's quite difficult to pronounce. It's like Majora's Mask boss, but slightly harder. Uh, and they have taken, like, all the fighters, and it's up to Kirby, who somehow managed to escape all the destruction, uh, to free all the characters and find like spirits, which are basically like, ooh, which are basically like enhanced um, power power ups things. So there could be like a uh, a spirit that can make you immune to electricity or immune to poison or increase your power attack and they're in different forms so you've got your basic one your shield one your sort of uh, claw one I, I don't know what this I think that's technical I think I'm not too sure and your attack and yeah and, they, and there are various ones and you can yeah and there are two ways to get spirits. The main way is to go through the adventure map. The other way 
is to get onto the get get who was that? I don't know. To get onto the spirit board, and there are like temporary ones each day, and they're like ones you can collect, fight, and then just collect. Um, and they're only temporary, so they might be like there for like five minutes or like three minutes, depends on the spirit. And the yeah, so the, the and also. Right now, uh, Nintendo are having some DLC characters, and in total there were five DLC characters, two of which, no wait, no, not two, one of which has already been released, which is Joker from Persona 5, and two of which have been announced but haven't released yet, which is Banjo-Kazooie from Banjo-Kazooie and... The hero from Dragon Quest 64. No, not Dragon Quest 64. So, from one of the Dragon Quest games. <laughs> and, yeah. So, yeah. And I really enjoy the game because I th I do play a lot of some of the characters. So, like, my main main character that I play a lot, if you don't know what I mean, if you don't know what I mean is, it's basically a character that you play the most out of and you use quite a lot against other people. In competitive and stuff, um, yeah. So my main is Link, and then I've got some other characters I play. So I play this Bowser, uh, Cloud, Joker, Simon Belmont, and Ryu. Yeah, and you can have different skins for the different characters. So like you can have like, for example, for Link, you can have him have in his check him out him in, in his Breath of the Wild shirt, his uh, traditional green uh, hero clothes, his Dark Link, fierce DT clothes, yeah, and even with some of the characters, is a palette swap or cab swap. For example, the Cooper Kids, you can have like, you can play as any one of the eight Cooper Kids, and even though their moves are the same, it is cool to have the Cooper Kids as one character. But you have to change through the different characters to become your favourite one, even though they're all under Bowser Jr. So yeah, um, some of the new characters that are in the game, you've got Ridley, Inklings, the Belmonts, or Simon and Victor Belmont, uh, King K. Rool, Isabel from Animal Crossing, uh, uh, and... Incineroar from Pokemon Sun and Moon, and there's two, two more uh, DLC characters coming along the way. Now the stages range from normal battlefield, the ba the stages in the game, the battlefields. There's like battlefield, big battlefield, final destination, um, Elden Bridge from Twilight Princess, this one from Star Fox. I think it's like Corneria. There's, there are a lot of stages in this game because this ha combines every single, a lot of things, not every single, a lot of the things from the previous match of this game. So you've got, aside from the, all the characters in one game, you've got a lot of the stages from previous games with some new added ones to this game. You've got a ton of music from a lot of the uh, uh, main games. But the only ones that the only one that has two songs is the Final Fantasy one. I'm not sure why, but okay. And you can also go online and you can like share videos that you've saved, uh, videos that you've edited, uh, me fighters, and even stages. Now I love this me. I love to hate the stages because there are a lot of really good ones. A lot of people put effort into. A lot of the stages, but the ones that are just like, really. I've even saved like a lot of them, a lot of the stages that I thought they were really good and how well designed they are. Um, you can also battle people in battle arenas, but you can only find like your friends or ones that are not full. And you can also battle people online in various other ways apart from battle arenas. And yeah, 
So, if you want to play uh, offline, you can battle up to two to eight players. Uh, the eight players was introduced in in the Wii U version, which I think was like quite cool because it's like mayhem at its, at its finest in a fighting game. And there are different items in the game. The most well known is the Smash Ball, which gives a character a final smash. So, for example, if Mario got to get it, gets it, got it, uh, uh, he'll use a a fire a wall of fire. For Link, now for Link in this game, he uses an agent arrow. But in previous games, uh, his final smash was the Triforce ceiling thing, um, and there was a lot of other well designed and well and really cool um, final smashes like personally like. Uh, one of them is Bowser's final smash, which becomes Giga Bowser and just does a big old punch to, to the screen, and it's really cool. Um, so yeah, that's by be that, that that's been my my review for Super Smash Bros Ultimate. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.